Hey guys, it's Alan Stolberg with Handbuilt Show 2018, brought to you by BMW Motorcycles. This live stream brought to you by Progressive. I'm sitting here with uh, one of my personal friends now, but heroes and legend, Ian Barry of Falcon Cycles. Well, thank you. Um, <laughs> it's going to get worse from there. Uh, of course, no, the, it is. I'm going to start. No, I'm going to start light. I expect nothing less. Okay, good. I'm going to do my best to try to embarrass you on on, on a live stream where yeah. there's there's no editing and we can't get rid of it. Yeah. It's okay. All and right. so, <laughs> it's a Saturday night. I don't know what is it. What are we looking at? 9:45. Uh, we were supposed to start a bit, a bit ago, but we were trying to get prepped for this. Yeah. Uh, the place is packed. Uh, it's been really, really great. This is every year is better, but this is by far our best handbuilt show ever. Yeah. And this is Ian Barry's first handbuilt show. Yeah. And this is my first show, and it is absolutely the best. I mean, <laughs> the best you've ever been to. It is the best <laughs> first handbuilt show I've ever been to. Seriously, Amazing. though, how is no, it? Actually, I I was. Uh, I was really, I was overwhelmed because yeah. it's such a good uh, collection of, you know, I, I don't want to say, you know, all of those kind of words that sound cliche, but it, like, I mean, these are, these are kind of extreme creatives, people that just kind of uncompromisingly will their, um, whatever it is in their head into, into form. Something. And, and it, and you can see it, you can see it in every pillar, literally every pillar here. Uh, and literally, all the pillars no, are surrounded it, by creative stuff. It is, yeah. and yeah. I and I like the the ability to engage with the motorcycles. You can spend time with the motorcycles. Yeah, I've spent you know basically the entire day walking around, you know, and um, just really getting into those details. I'm a I'm a parking lot motorcycle yeah. appreciator yeah. because usually that's the place where nobody else is. Right. But here, you created an environment where you get that. Like yeah. you can still like get on the ground and kind of peek under the, uh, you know, the fuselage and see. Oh wow, he ran that line there. Or oh yeah. wow, that's a really neat solution for we that. We were talking earlier. You said the parking lot outside. As soon as we got out of the car earlier on Saturday, I went morning, right to the parking. The lot. parking lot. We we pulled the parking lot in this time. So the footprint of the show outside. Uh, behind the gates is the parking lot for motorcycles. So that everyone that rode their motorcycle in had the opportunity to park inside the show. And there's some good stuff out there. Yeah, some it's stuff, great stuff worth looking at. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I went right, right towards the parking lot as, <laughs> as, as normal. But you know, the the great and the unique thing about this show is that you know what you can engage with outside. I think is definitely mirrored on the inside too. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks. I'm, I'm glad. Well, so there's some backstory here. Um, I've been friends with Ian a lot longer than the Handbuilt Show has existed. Quite a few years, in fact, now. I, I yeah. actually met you in uh, 2011, is when yeah. we met, right? So, so a few years earlier. Um, uh, so, so I'm gonna try, this is the part where I embarrass Ian. Ian, Ian is here in, in spirit, and his motorcycle is here in spirit. And what I mean by that is there's a lot of bikes in the room uh, that have absolutely taken some direct inspiration from work that he's done. None of my bikes today, because none of our bikes are on that level that happened to be at this show. But in the past, most definitely, uh, the, the bar for me before I met Ian and for, for Revival and our team was, you know, this this is this is the bike. We would see a Falcon bike, whether it was the Kestrel, uh, obviously the black and the white. This is the bar, this is where we want to be. For me personally and for my entire team. And if you weren't willing to consider this is the bar, you weren't willing to be a part of my team. And I, and I mean, right. literally, there were some people that are no longer there that weren't willing to consider being on the level of Falcon Cycles. That's how high the bar is set. And as far as I'm concerned, still today, uh, this far on, uh, I'm still trying to set the bar at Falcon Cycles. And it's the stuff that you did uh, with your really small team in your workshop in LA that I'm completely still inspired by. And no, I've never probably said it quite that directly, even all the conversations we've had. Uh, I'm gonna say it on camera because that's totally true. And I'm really, really glad. We hadn't seen you in a while. No one's seen Falcon Cycles in a bit. You came out of hiding. I know that you were gone for a while. Do you wanna talk about that at all? Well, I think it's important. You know, I, I set out uh, a while back to do uh, 10. Kind of a vision of, I was gonna create 10 motorcycles right you know by number 10 you know I, I start to now question if that's even going to be 
what we'd consider today as a motorcycle. Right. And and that was by design. It's it's something that kind of evolves. And when I got to number four, I I I felt um, that I needed to take a step back. I needed to see the world, you know, travel a bit, get, you know, get engaged. Okay, um, but is this because you were so incredibly focused on the singular vision of these ten perfect, perfect, you know? I think I needed a sabbatical. I mean, yeah, I, and I from think your it, own. Yeah, I think yeah, it, yeah. No, and I think that's a that's a that's a healthy uh, thing to do. So, you know, rather than um, kind of succumbing to uh, the project as being a burden, I think the project was a you know. A, this is a, you know, colloquial term now. A teaching moment. It was a yeah. teaching moment yeah. for me. I was, uh, I was exhausted, and I know that when one is exhausted, and you try and uh, put the um, the stresses of a creative pursuit on top of that, it's going to end up being a mess. Yeah. And I and I think yeah. you know I'm no Nostradamus, but I did foresee what that would be, and I didn't want any part of it because. Because Falcon is a, is a, it's a concept. It's something that evolves yeah. through time. It's something it's more that, of an idea than a fixed point. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't. It's not a the shop or it's not a logo. It's none of those things. It's that by the time I die, I will be finishing these ten objects. I mean, that you're able to uh, articulate and put that together in even a even a even a thought, much less say that to me. Uh, says that you're thinking out way further ahead than most people, right? There's a vision involved in that, and I don't want to get too far into it because. You know, well, it's, well, it, 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 it's, it's a marathon. It's not a race. Like, yeah, and yeah. I knew that. Like, and, I, and, the, and stamina. It means that I get to come here and I get to actually re-engage with, you know, all of these incredible bikes from a different place. Like, yeah. no, and and the thing, like, just one little kind of you know side note about. Uh, Custom motorcycles as a whole, it's not a competition. Like it there is there's no objective winner of custom motorcycles. It is a subjective um, pursuit and and what you know the, the beholder sees as being beautiful yeah. or or a perfect form or something that they need to just get out of out of themselves and into a, a physical object. And then when you see everything here there's of course no clear winner there is only um, the, the winner is the people that get to see everybody's expression yeah and I and I knew and I knew that early on so this is kind of the antithesis of an award show a concourse it's a it's an appreciation for the extreme you've gone through an extreme amount to get here yeah like with the, yeah. the commonality of all custom builders is that we, we all share this kind of extreme desire to express at yeah. all costs yeah there's some fallout. There's some people that yeah. don't stay with us through yeah. the whole journey. Yeah. But you know, it's kind of up to us to just kind of elevate and and persevere and, and keep putting our ideas out there right. in any and, way we can. And, and what I found in the motorcycle world, you know, I come from a corporate background um, where I was pushing a different career goal altogether. And when I dropped out is when I entered the, the motorcycle world. And I almost hesitate now to say I'm part of the motorcycle business. After 10 years, it still doesn't feel like that, but I guess I'm part of the business now. But it's only that I found a camaraderie with the, the other guys that were building bikes and creating these things uh, and then setting the bar with, all right, this is where I really want to shoot. So so even if I never said it correctly to you, you were the bar and I was the, the guy thinking one day I would, I would get to even, I guess, relate to what you were looking for. And I think that that there's there's all those there's there's young guys here that are 13 14 years old that are building bikes in their garage with an angle grinder and, and probably a stick welder or less and those are the guys that i want to put in a sort of a democratic room at all the yeah. same level and put them all in the same room in the same space there's no trophies there's no pa even this live stream only you guys online can hear this this is only for the people that are not here the people that are here in the room can't hear us at all. They have no idea what we're saying. They're wondering why there's two guys in the corner on mics, <laughs> because because in my mind, I think for sure, uh, uh, putting everyone at the same level and making them feel just as appreciated as the guys who are pros and have been doing this for a long time, uh, <laughs> using CNC machines and and, and and lots of supports from from the uh, from the manufacturers and the brands and the sponsors, they should they should recognize that the guys that are coming up trying to figure this out are just as important. In fact, they're the future of what's going to happen. 
therefore, they need to be elevated and inspired and exposed to the things that are Falcon Cycles. And it's still, to me, it still amazes me that I might mention Falcon Cycles and someone doesn't get it because it connected to me so well, like uh, I, prior to you. Nothing well, to do with I, I how mean, charming I, you are. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm humbled, but I'm not humbled because that's what you say. It's because, like, I know, I know what I put into it. Like, I know. Like, I've fucking bled for it. And so when you say that, like I really appreciate it, yeah. and I'm and I'm humbled because I know as a fellow bleeder <laughs> that that you I'm a that, convert <laughs> that, you, that you that you get it, you know. And yeah. so, and I think you said something really interesting. I think you, I've said myself the word democratic, and it's actually not democratic. Assumes. I think you've blown up the word democratic. Democratic means that you're taking the lowest and the highest and you're kind of equalizing. No, you're right. It's equanimity. Yeah. That's yeah. what this represents. It's yeah. not democratic. It's, it's that one the, wasn't in my, in my, in my vocab, but it, yes. No, it but is. I, that other word. And yeah. it wasn't in mine until I think I just made up a word. You might have. Yeah. But uh, yeah, because yeah. democ democratic makes some assumptions, and I don't think that's what this is. I think it's something different. I think it's, it's appreciating you know, um, I'm almost on a sinew level, like the, the fibers of, of the creativity that show up in all of these bikes. Yes. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I, I would I would challenge anybody to find a bike here that doesn't have that. And a at big, least in one You can place. see the passion in, in the heart that people are putting into what they're doing, and that's the part I'm the most proud of. Yeah. There's a great, what I thought you were going to talk about at the beginning is the part that I keep hearing the most which is, other than where's the Revival 6, <laughs> which, is, which you hit me with a while ago. That's the most where's often the question. Falcon? And the next, the next thing that's said out of everybody's mouth, the comment has made, is, is that they love the vibe of what we're doing. And I hope that we can, as this continues to grow, because it seems like it's going to do that, that the vibe stays the same. And that is that everyone here is happy to see the other guy in the room and yeah. happy, to, happy to, to be involved. And um, I'm just happy that finally got you to come out to Austin to be a part I, yeah, of our uh, public it's a, thing. It's a pleasure. I do feel like I'm truly in a, in a room of, of contemporaries. And, you know, I left because it, it felt a little imbalanced, and now I feel like kind of the balance has been restored a bit. And I think you have a large part in creating that environment, cultivating I, that environment. I take a small, to have a small part is an honor, so it's good. It's All good. Right. So, so tell me, what's next? Well, uh, what are you gonna do? Uh, Vespertine is, is number five. And number five uh, in the series is is kind of looking at, at at the world as it is now, okay. including advanced materials, advanced manufacturing. Um, you know, almost looking at uh, I don't know. Falcon was a symbol, meaning you know something Speed over and beauty time. And, well, yeah, ref I refined mean. refined by the the stresses of nature. You right. know, it, not necessarily natural selection, but something that just continues to improve based on the condition it's right. around. So based on the conditions that I, I'm in, including the, the, the custom motorcycle movement, and not to cross-pollinate two shows, but you know the, the Peterson Museum exhibit, which I was involved in, was a real eye-opening event. <laughs> you know, and and, and yeah. so things like that yeah. um, are, are really inspiring and will definitely show up in yeah. unexpected ways in my next motorcycle. And, and that's what I wanted. Yeah, that's it. That's all we're going to get. That's the full detail of what you're going to give me. <laughs> it's stuff and stuff. No one's going to even stuff. Know. And stuff is things. fantastic. Lots of things. And eventually yeah. there'll be more stuff. And pretty. Yeah. And we could say pretty. And super cool. I, I'm absolutely 100% certain <laughs> that whatever comes next will surprise a whole lot of people. It will probably levitate, but not with anything that you can, you can tell. Yeah, I did make, I did make a, a joke earlier, and now it's almost like one of those things where you say it and you want to take it back, but then it had this really kind of mysterious way of circling back and going, wait a minute, it's, I'm going to get a little bit out there. As, uh, as you do. Because this wouldn't be an yeah. interview w with without the it. without it, yeah, yeah. So I was thinking, well, maybe number 10 is kind of like, you know, Star Trek Genesis, where I'm designing my own torpedo pod where I'm projected I'll have to talk to Elon Musk about this, but I'm sure we can on, do this. Onto another planet. That's Falcon. That's the tenth Falcon. That's the evolution yeah, of the yeah, tenth Falcon. Exactly. So it's a, it's a torpedo. So <laughs> into another planet. So I want everyone to notice. We just referenced Star Trek. It, it should be it should be understood, you know, right? <laughs> that I don't know if you've heard us discuss this. So we no. realized a while a while back. Um, I, I really I you know. 
I'm just not that in. No, I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not yeah. interested in what I'm you're just, doing. I'm really just. Well, one of the things that, that 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 I and the team at Revival realized a while ago was that um, the reason I didn't feel like I, what we did and 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 my own taste in motorcycling fit into the motorcycle world is because it really didn't. Yeah. I was a nerd. And I was a nerd for a lot of things. And it was actually David, uh, David Bora, so a common oh, friend, God, Ronald Solitario, that forced me to recognize this. He was in my office, and there's these tons of books. Um, and we're walking, he had been sleeping in my office for the weekend for a handbelt show like three or four years ago. And we're walking out of my office, and he goes, you, you, you are a studier. And I was like, <laughs> what? He goes, you would like to study. And I was like, no, I don't. And I had this, like this high school <laughs> right. thing. But I was like, no, I don't. I don't study. I, I'm fine. Yeah, what do you mean? Yeah, right, yeah. And he says, you read all these books. You look at all this stuff. And I right. went, yeah, 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 I do. And he goes, you like to study. And I realized <laughs> when he said this that there was no part of me that was actually cool. Uh, me and the entire team at Revival, we're all a bunch of nerds, whether that's for architecture or art or design or motorcycles or film yeah. or technology, any of that stuff. We're, we're all a bunch of nerds. And I realized that we were motorcycle nerds at our core, and I've started to embrace that over the last few years. The Moto Nerd hashtag started with Revival for a reason because uh, that was when I finally felt like we, we, we fit some core. And on a level, because you just mentioned Star Trek in the conversation about motorcycles, well, you're I, a, you're I, the you might be the ultimate moto nerd. Yeah, but I'm just getting saying. but no, but I, and I think I can potentially articulate this better than me. I know. No, <laughs> just different. Yeah, not better. <laughs> so, you know, reading science fiction or you know scientific data, like it all seems like a bunch of words bouncing around, looking for uh, you know to tether onto a target. Right. And so motorcycles for for me was a collection of all of those things bouncing around in text, in the research, in the nerding out that found a home. Yeah. And 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 yeah. and that's something that's I think is that's I see uh, very common in a lot of these motorcycles. It's stuff out of imagination. Yeah. It's There's stuff, so many details. Yeah. Well, every year, the only thing I really truly lament, other than all the hard work and the stress and strain on the team and what we do to, to try to put this together, is that I don't get enough time to spend with each bike yeah. by myself. I take all the photos that we do for the studio photos, every single bike that comes in the door, I shoot that bike and I get that one moment with it to look at it by myself through the camera lens and that's it. Yeah. The rest of the time we're too busy working. Uh, because yeah, every single bike you look at, you go, oh, oh, there's this and oh, there's that. And You should do hand-built after hours, <laughs> the secret viewing. <laughs> Triple X. <laughs> yeah, right, <laughs> standing room only. Standing room. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah it, someday, but I, I feel the same way about the, all the bikes you've done. Uh, most specifically, when you showed me in person the day we met, the black, and you went over all those details, and I was, I remember when we had the conversation, I was like, you've got to film all that stuff. You have to film yeah. everything that comes apart and everything that's adjustable and all yeah, these you, things. You, you and Paul, until Paul was like, all right, when is there going to be the video? When are we doing they, this? They talked about the video, like as if it was going to happen, and then all of a sudden, Lo and behold, because of all those conversations, the the video showed up. And I you was, guys, I was you guys should Google this. It's on vintagechint.com. Yeah. Uh, it's online. If you just Google Ian Barry and, and the and the black, yeah, you'll find a video black, of it. Yeah. It's it'll show you all the details of how it goes together. And only then will you see the nerdiness that has gone on into the design of making this beautiful, sophisticated piece of art that happens to be a motorcycle. Yeah, I am, I, you know, I, I am really proud of it. I think distance is really great with any, 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 anything anyone creates because uh, it's easy to get kind of, um, I don't know, kind of uh, embedded or trapped in, in your work. Yep. And, and it was, a, you know, to answer your uh, other question, like where, where have you been? Like I've been trying to kind of um, not disassociate, but reassociate in a, in a healthy, balanced way with something really new and exciting that I know uh, motorcycles uh, are like at, at the very core possess, have, you know, um, bring out in me. Now we're gonna get. When, did, when is it that we mentioned the word freedom? Because that always comes out. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's the one. No, yeah. not still freedom. trapped. Still yeah, trapped. I'm not still free. trapped. Not free. Not free. Yeah, no. Straight We're the jacket, only motorcycle riders in the world word. that are still yeah. trapped. I don't feel free at all. Yeah. <laughs> I will say the two miles on back and forth from the shop to to the house on the motorcycle, 
it relieves a bit of tension, but I, I never feel free because I'm always thinking about the next thing. I cherish the moments of mastery. <laughs> We can pontificate for hours, guys. Yeah. You have no idea how long this can go on. Yeah. And typically, even on the phone, this is what ends up happening. Yeah. I'm going to say this, man. Thank you very much for finally coming out. Uh, I hope that this continues a long tradition. Yeah. Next nope. year, we're going to have a Falcon bike in the show. I don't care if it's <laughs> a few years old. It doesn't matter. The Austin crowd hasn't seen it. Yeah. Uh, we need no, to share. No thanks nece ne necessary. I appreciate it. It's an honor. And yes, and yes. Yes, and yes. Next year, guys, you heard it here first. <laughs> I wanted to talk more about design, but I really think this is probably good. If you guys want to see more, comment, like, subscribe, let Google us know. Google part two. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll come back and we'll do a bit more. Uh, I think there's another interview coming up soon, guys. No, actually, that's it. I'm being told that's it for the evening. Yeah. Um, I do hope that you guys enjoyed this. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow at noon with a bit more. Again, thanks, guys, to BMW Motorcycles and Progressive for supporting this, and thanks to Ian Barry for being willing to sit down and talk to us. Yeah. Appreciate it. And, and pay attention tomorrow for two guys and a small car eating burritos. It's a new thing we're doing. <laughs> Good night, guys. Oh, Thanks. wait, that's off. But that's no, no, not, no, yeah. no. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>